Hello and welcome. If you are planning to play with Huawei, I have some tips for you, at least on how to expand in South America. Your first move should be to justify on Rio Grande do Sul in the first instant you start playing the game. Why? Because they are going to send the army to the north because they are at war with Brazil and you are going to send your army to the south and you will have 100% advanced chance and they will have a small resistance because they have the army in the frontier therefore you are going to get um, the, the whole province before Brazil if you don't restart the game second you start as an insignificant power that means that you cannot declare interest so you can only attack Rio Grande do Sud and later Brazil therefore your only way out is to go to nationalism you should find it in the social tree and go directly for nationalism we are going to find it right now here it is and that will give you it will trigger an event that will allow you to attack Argentina since you have little resources never ever construct construction centers because if you do for just one extra construction point or two for a wooden construction center you're going to be paying for the 12th construction point so if you don't you're going to have 10 points for free and that will help you boost your army a lot to boost your army to confront Argentina you should build these buildings in this order maize in Uruguay uh, sugar in Rio Grande do Sul food factory in Uruguay this is optional it was building in Rio Grande do Sud so they were building when I conquered them and this is a must have also weapons armor factory in Uruguay as optional you can build tools in Uruguay or you can build clothes or you can build furniture in Uruguay as you wish but if you build all of this and maybe a tool factory in Uruguay and modernize the metal try to use keep the the old method do not uh, do not upgrade because you don't have the resources and you can't afford to trade with long range partners keep everything very low and you are going to be fine after you build these structures start building battalions battalions one after another but before building the battalions launch this edict that is also key the edict that this edict will uh, help you recruit more soldiers and is the only way that you can recruit more soldiers than Argentina. Do not forget to put this one in method level 2. So combined you will get more manpower, enough to beat Argentina on time. Initially also you can block the imports of grain by you look in the, this way you go to the rural tab and you put this one so you will have a short cache of grain and it will trigger the corn uh, law event that will allow you will allow you to have a guy that will allow you to pass the laissez-faire law like i'm going to be doing right now laissez-faire is in process that will trigger some events and also all the laws will trigger event but there is an event that is quite important i did a video on that one that will give you plus 20 prestige this is the third option that will give you plus 20 prestige and if you take that one it's very important for uruguay because you're going to be transforming yourself into a minor power like i did and that means that when you get nationalism you're going to be able also to declare an interest on argentina the whole country and you're going to be claiming all the territories of Argentina almost for free with the nationalism but if you don't have the in the if you're not a minor power you're not going to be able to declare the interest here and therefore you're going to be needing to do two wars one to get one province in the Rio de la Plata area and the second one to take the whole country the war is going to be in the 43 so you can have all of Argentina by 43 if you take if you got that event that maybe oh. is well, is the third option not this case but you will find a third option here that gives you plus 20 prestige so take a look if you get that one 
Also, it's critical to improve your economy quick and fast. You should lower your taxes. Since you are constructing with your free 10 points, you're going to be having an excess of money and you should keep dropping the taxes all the way down. And since you are going to be keep building these buildings, you're going to be earning more money. Your people are going to be richer and then you're going to be paying more money paying more taxes and you're going to be able to sustain about 20 battalions a little bit more and that is enough to beat Argentina. As you can see now I'm in 44 but I made a mistake. I did not start destroying my reputation with Uruguay so I cannot attack them. My infamy is very low since uh, Argentina, Argentina is considered a core of Uruguay I have to damage relations with Paraguay, I think that's why I have so high bad reputation, but you should be able and you should take Chile right away and Paraguay. Paraguay is also considered a core of Uruguay with a nationalism event and you only need about 33 battalions to beat Argentina. Actually when I beat Argentina I had about 20, maybe something like that, and since I have um, Yes, since I have food, you can special food, you can enact this one that gives special food. Also this one that gives chocolate, no, this one not. This one that gives chocolate and liquor. All of that is given by the this factory that this metal is going to be give you the liquor. And as you can see, the buildings in Uruguay were kind of basic and these are the buildings in Uruguay and these are the buildings in Rio Grande do Sul and as you can see the construction points and only using the 10 basic construction points now I have more because I, I got construction center from Argentina Argentina but that's the idea when you take Argentina take right away Chile and Paraguay so by using the current laws you should have less affair by now you can have almost a full democracy if you are lucky and you should have chile you should have paraguay and sh you should have argentina so try passing a colonization law to take the patagonia and you should have a ship from argentina so send it to take brunei and then Sululand and madagascar then this in land here that is plenty of gold and then you should take uh, Somalia and then you should take Ethiopia and if you are in a custom union it's better because the custom union is going to pay the convoys for you so you're going to be taking all of this and the custom union is going to pay the convoys and this is good because they are, you're going to be incorporating these territories in 20 years but they are going to be contributing to the investment pool well, all the detail of and what I just said is on the previous video. You will see a lot of details about the corn laws, about the event that, that transformed Uruguay into a minor power, and the economic tip for Uruguay that is to lower the taxes so you increase your economy. And now that you have a big chunk of territory and colonies, you go the standard way. That's all. I know my English is not very clear, so leave me the, in the comments all the doubts so I can explain and type and give you the references. And that's all. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye bye.